lot of us have dash cams or car cams for various and sundry reasons. Some people like to have them to see if they happen to catch an accident or something occurring in front of them. Others, of course, for obvious insurance purposes. Others like to see outside and inside the car for various and sundry reasons. Glad to have our next guest with us here at CE Week. He is the CEO and founder of Owl Car Cam, Andy Hodge. Andy, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good today. Thanks. Good. Now, because there are so many dash cams and car cams out, I'm seeing a lot more attention being paid to OWL. So to your credit, what makes OWL cam different than these other cameras? What made us different is that a year ago, instead of saying, let's build a dash cam, we started saying, how could you make like home security amazing? And when we were asking what things happen in the home, when you look at that, it's not the home isn't where things happen. It's around the car where you're at risk, your family's at risk, where the most happens. And so very quickly a year ago, we said, wait, how do we take the features that people like or wish they had in a home security system, but put them in the car where the most happens? And you apparently accomplished that. And it's a very small camera. Right. Uh, some of these things are gaudy and huge and block your vision out the windshield right. and very inappropriate. Show us the OWL cam and tell me about it as you do. So this is the OWL camera. Um, it fits into your car in about six minutes. Um, no adhesives, just goes in simply and easily. Um, this is what you see on the inside inside camera and outside camera, and then a touch screen on the inside where you control it. But we wanted to make sure everybody could get it in their car and it would look great and yeah, then it could do its job. And of course, for those listening on the radio at the moment and not seeing the video, be sure to hit us up at intotomorrow.com and you'll see the video where Andy's talking about and showing us the OWL cam and also everything else we're looking at here at CE Week. So now what will we do with the OWL cam? Once it's in the car, very easy to install, now what? So we think of it as though there are crashes, stops, dents, and break-ins. And there's also a lot of just crazy stuff that happens around too, but especially in those first ones, we always wanna make sure the video gets straight to your phone. So the trick that we have is that we've built in uh, the same radio that's in your cell phone, a 4G LTE modem, so that when the video is being recorded when you drive or when someone messes with your car when it's parked, the video is available on your phone immediately. So traffic stop, dent, break in, whatever it might be, the video is not only being recorded, but you've got it right there on your phone. And just as importantly, you're the only person that can see it. Now that's a couple of major differences right there. Number yeah. one, the fact that we can see it immediately. And number two, the fact that even if we're not in the car, the car's not running, we're not driving, it's right. in a parking lot and some clown backs into us or something, yes. it's going to engage and then send us that video. Yeah, I mean, I think what we see is a lot of people that have already had different cameras or have had things happen to them immediately see, wait, what I really want if I'm in an accident is to have the video on my phone right away. I don't want to go look for my laptop, a card reader. I don't even want to mess with Wi-Fi. I want to just know I'm probably a little disoriented. I pull out my phone, I can see it. What does it show me? What does it tell me I want to do? And if I want to share it with someone else, I can do it right then that second. Like uh, the insurance company or something. <laughs> that's right. And 10 out of 10 major insurance companies all accept video as evidence. Um, what was great about us as a company is you work hard on these things, but the first day we shipped, which by the way was um, in late February of this year, that afternoon at three o'clock, we had someone call up and he said, I got your product, he was one of the first ones. He put it in that morning, that afternoon when he was helping someone, pulling them out of a ditch when it was snowy. Someone hit him and tried to blame him. And that afternoon, the first day we shipped, we had him calling and saying, hey, your product paid for itself in that I just you know, got out of a thousand or $1,500 deductible. So this is what we've been seeing is that because the video is so easy to get to, whether it's sharing out video of something that happened to you or sharing out video that happened to someone else, we're finding really real people being helped, you know, every day, every week. So now if we're not in the car and these kinds of yeah. things happen, it's always on. Uh, how does that so, work and what kind of power drain are we talking, if any? Yeah. So our power drain is tiny. We never use more than a few percent of the car's battery. But yeah, when your car's parked, we go into guard mode and we're listening and we're feeling for if something happens. So if someone uh, breaks into your car or breaks a window, we come on, we take video, and we send that video immediately to your phone, so you get a video alert. And then even better than that, you can intercom back to the car. You can turn on floodlights on the inside of the car. You can talk to whoever's inside the car, and for instance say, oh, that is my cousin who I told to go get something out of my car, or hey, if you're breaking into my car, get out of there, right? I've got you on video. And we have caught multiple people so far, and our experience has been, 
video of that person breaking in or stealing your car can be posted. And we've seen cases where we can identify the person within like 12 hours. It sounds like it's even better than the ring doorbell for your home, but this is the owl cam for your car doing much the same thing. Yeah, I think it, there are some of the same ideas. I think the difference is from the beginning, we said, I don't want you to just get the video like ring. I want you to be able to think about sharing it out. So the video that you have on your phone, in, the, in about 10 seconds, you can shorten the clip, change its name, and share it out to either social media or your insurance company or um, say email it or text it. And so we've really built the system to be super easy because everybody I know is busy and you're just as busy if your car got messed with as if it didn't. And so we tried from the beginning to say, the video is powerful, but it's powerful when you can get it and get it to the right person quickly. Now, does it detect motion as well from the video standpoint? If something's happening outside your car that's not a, a bang into your vehicle, am I going to see, we're from Miami, am I going to see an alligator walking in front of the car and share that? No, you won't see the alligator walking in front of your car. Actually, it'd be pretty low down, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, unless you Bad walking, example. Maybe walking upright. Right? A giraffe. A giraffe. Um, but no, we sense motion in the car and we sense um, noise. But the one thing that is true is you can live view. Like right now I'm in New York City, my car's back in California. I can live view the inside and outside of the car right now and to see did I leave my book bag in there or is my car okay or what's happening actually on the street outside of my house. Yeah, it's a little peace of mind at any time, log in and see what's going on. Yeah, I definitely, we find that people that have had these and remember some of the people that have worked are part of the company have been driving with these for the better part of a year, different prototypes. But it feels funny to drive a car without it not because bad things happen all the time and not because amazing things happen all the time, but we've all had amazing and crazy things happen around the car. It's just great to know you're not going to miss it. Love it. And why owl? Is it because an owl can twist around and see all directions? Or, or it's kind of a cool name, but was there a particular reason behind it? We had a lot of different names we were thinking about. And one time a guy was delivering a package um, to the company when we were under our, our secret name. And he saw just the word owl was up behind me when he delivered the package. And without knowing what we did, he looked kind of in and he said, Ow, I'll bet you guys build some sort of super cool security camera. And I, just thought, yeah, and I just thought, if the word owl connotates that much positive with just that word, then yeah, we got we to use that name. I love it. Now, what are we talking price-wise, and how does that work out? Uh, you know, if you buy it, is there also right. monthly fees involved because it's got a, an LTE yeah. you know, element to it? Yeah, so you can think of the product in two different ways. If you don't want to pay for the service, you don't have to. But then, of course, I can't send you the video alerts from far away. But um, the way the product works today, if you go to the website, you can buy the product in one year's service for $349. So that's a $299 camera plus a year's service that would normally be $100. So as you move ahead for either 10 bucks a month or $100 a year, we provide that alert and video service that lets you get to and share any of the video, but it allows us to send those services to you. And what we do for that $10 is we're paying for the LTE data to actually send the video out of the car camera. But again, if you wanted to only use Wi-Fi, you could do that, everything still works. It's just you don't get those video alarms when the, the car's parked. But it, are they stored so you can then retrieve them later they at are. some point? So the last really two weeks of driving is stored on the camera. So if you have inside and outside HD on, we store over 18 hours of video. Most people drive about an hour a day, so that's two weeks worth of storage. Um, so again, you could do Wi-Fi and get to all that, or if you're paying for the service, you can from anywhere get to that whole history and, you know, and look for whatever video you're interested in. And even though you guys are relatively new since February of this year, you mentioned, I'll bet you that a lot of folks are going to get to that end of that first year that's covered yeah. and say, I got to keep it up because I've been getting very good information and I just feel better about knowing what's going on with my car. No, I mean, I think that for us, what we see really quickly happening is a lot of people say, wait, I have a home security system and I'm paying them 10 or 50 or $75 a month to send my video over the Wi-Fi I pay for. And so when you say we're doing that same service, but in the car that's driving around and we're paying for the LTE data, we get a lot of people, in fact, at this show, especially people that are you know, in the business that say, wow, it's pretty amazing what you're doing. There's a lot, you know, protecting the car where more happens for less than I protect my home where less happens. That is what we're trying to do. Well, keep up the good work. You've got a very cool product. We're happy to help you promote it. And, uh, and, and thank you for spending a few minutes with us here at CE Week in New York. Thank you. That's Andy from OwlCam. And, you, of course, you can visit them on their site at OwlCam.com, where I'm sure we can order it as well. Yes.
Owlcam.com. We'll get you there, too, when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue from New York City and CE Week here on Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.